Time the Art here. Today's topic is about how to install Kairos on Windows. First of all, we need the Chrome browser. If you've already got Chrome, you can go to the menu of Chrome to update it. To do so, go to the menu on the right side to help about Google Chrome. And then it will show you either that it is already updated or it will update itself. If you don't have Chrome, go to google.com slash Chrome. Click on download Chrome and follow the instructions. Next up, we need to download Chrome Driver. This is a program that will automate your web behavior in Chrome. To download Chrome Driver, we go to Chrome Driver dot Chromium dot org slash downloads. Now we need to make sure that we have the right driver for the right browser. To know what your browser is or your browser version, you go to the menu of Chrome, go to help about Google Chrome. Here you'll find your version number. So in my case it's 73. Let's go back. And in this case, I need to make sure that I will get the right Chrome driver. Um, if you get the other Chrome driver, it might work, it might not work. So make sure to get the right one. Let's click on download. Get the Windows version is the win32.zip. Done. Open the downloaded file and move GromeDriver.exe to C. Continue. Now that we have the latest version of Chrome installed and its corresponding Chrome driver, we need to install Python. Python is the programming language in which Kairos is written. You can download Python from python.org slash downloads. Click the download button. Open the downloaded file. As you can see, I've already got it installed. Uh, and since this is my development PC as well, I'm not going to modify or repair anything. Um, but you should install it with the default options. One more thing though. If it shows in the bottom left corner an option to add Python to the Windows path, you should check it before you continue. Installing Python will take some time, so feel free to make coffee or go to the restroom at this point. To make sure that Python is installed correctly, we're going to open an elevate prompt. To do so, we go to search, type in CMD for command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. If Windows asks for confirmation, just confirm it. To check if Python is uh, working correctly, simply put in the word Python and press enter. As you can see, it's installed correctly. I have the right version. Um, to exit, you simply put in exit with a parenthesis. Now we need to check one other thing, and that is if pip is installed. Pip is a kind of a installation module. Uh, to make sure that you have all the necessary libraries working and running. Uh, to check if pip is installed, put in pip. And there you go, it's working as well. Now that we know that Python and pip are installed correctly, uh, we need to install uh, a package which is called setup tools. To do so, we put in the following pip install setup tools. As you can see, I've already got it satisfied, uh, but uh, in your case, it should uh, download some stuff and it should install it. Uh, next up, just to make sure, if you've already got setup tools installed um, and you want to make sure that you have the latest version, 
put in pip install dash dash upgrade setup tools there you go it's done now that we have installed all the prerequisites the fun starts let's keep our command prompt but minimize it and we will go to github.com slash timelyart that would be me slash kairos go to releases and download the zip file from the latest release open the downloaded file and let's just move the contents to again C. Let's uh, close the explorer window and go back to your command prompt. From the command prompt we will go to C then I need to know which version of Kairos I've just downloaded. So we will put in dir for directory. As you can see, I've got uh, Kairos version 1.3.1. So we will put in, we will change the directory to cd kairos-1.3.1. Now to install Kairos, we put in Python setup.py and then install press enter there you go now we need to do one more thing and that is to rename a, a file and to do so we put in ren ren for rename underscore kairos.cfg and we will rename it to kairos.cfg Kairos has been installed uh, but we still need to do uh, a little bit of configuration which is what we will do next let's uh, minimize uh, the command prompt we will use notepad++ to uh, edit configuration files for Kairos if you've already uh, got notepad++ installed you can skip this section if not, um, let's move to, let's go to uh, notepad dash plus dash plus plus dot org. Press download. Now you sh probably have, no, you most certainly have 64 bit processor or computer. Uh, so, unless you're absolutely sure that you have a very old computer and run 32 bits, uh, install the 64 bit version. Um, for the purpose of this video, we will do so anyway. Uh, so, let's click the link. Uh, it will give you a warning. Let's uh, press keep. Now, <coughs> uh, if you open the installer, which we will do in a moment, it will be prompted if you are sure you want to uh, give it access and just confirm it. All right, so here we have the uh, installer. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, just uh, follow the default settings, I would say. Press OK in this case. Um, press Next. I agree. Sure, it all seems dandy. This is also fine. This is also fine. Done. Uh, let's uh, press finish. There we go. Close uh, Notepad++. Now let's uh, open uh, Notepad++ as administrator this time.
again if there's any kind of prompts just confirm right so what we will do now is we will go to settings style configurator then we will go to language and we will move to any so select any file make sure you have as user extension cfg and then press save and close now let's open uh, the kairos uh, configuration file let's go to open go to your directory where you have kairos installed in my case kairos 1.3.1 and open your kairos.cfg now don't be scared with the, the sheer amount of options you have in this file um, it, it, you don't need all the options in fact it only shows off uh, how much effort I put into the project uh, but uh, what we really want to do and the, really, the only thing what we really need to do uh, to make kairos run is to uh, provide the path to where you have uh, stored your Chrome driver.exe file. So in my case, it's on C Chrome driver.exe. Oh, I almost uh, forgot one thing. Uh, there's one other setting uh, which you should look at, and that is the max alerts and the trading view max alerts. Uh, make sure that you have set this set this up to uh, the maximum uh, alerts that you are allowed to have on TradingView. So for a normal Pro plan, I think, or Pro Plus, Pro plan is, I think, 10 alerts, Pro Plus is 30 alerts, and Premium is 200 alerts. I've got the Premium, so let's put in 200. Uh, let's uh, save the file by uh, pressing uh, Ctrl and S. Now let's move uh, back to our command prompt and to test if Kairos is uh, uh, installed correctly we put in python main.py and press enter. This is what you should see. It only it says start program, it shows a disclaimer uh, and end program. That's it. Uh, there's just one more thing I uh, want to uh, show you guys. Um, let's move to the back to the Kairos.cog, and that is that there's like on the trading view there's a username and a password. I mean Kairos it automates trading view for you, so it needs to log in. So I highly recommend you put in your uh, user credentials here. Um, if you're paranoid or worried about uh, being hacked on trading view. Uh, you don't need to put this in, but bear in mind that you will be asked for your username and your password every time when you run Kairos. Uh, it's not a very, if you just want to run Kairos like once, just to test it out, okay, that's fine, and to put in your username and password uh, like on the command prompt. But by large, you want to run uh, Kairos like automated, uh, like with a scheduler or something. Uh, and then you really need to have this uh, covered and you need to make sure that you're, uh, you have your user credentials in here. This concludes the instruction video for installing Kairos.